Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today, my dear participants? Good it's evening. Good. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. It's good to have you here, Claudia, Miguel, uh, Joao, Rolando, Janari, Astrid, Victor, Raquel, Vicky, Carlos, Ramiro, Luis, and uh, Vladimir, and all the people that is going to join us in the rest of the class. So please be very welcome. Today we are going to continue with the class number three of these uh, basic two. So uh, what I want you to share with you is what we are going to be studying. So let me let me share with you first the topic presentation, but then okay, let's see. Okay, just wait for me. I need to share something extra with you. So I want to connect uh, what we are going to be studying from the platform. Uh, so today we are working with the uh, class number three, but let me show you the platform first. Okay, let me, let me share this. Okay, great. Um, can you watch my screen, my dears? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, perfect. So <clears throat> what we are going to study today is the simple present statement with irregular verbs. And the lesson objective is the 1.5 that says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. So in the platform, what you have it's basically a video that explains how the difference between regular and irregular verbs. So today we are going to work on that and I will provide you additional material for you to study uh, regular and irregular verbs. And then we will go to 1.7 knowledge check, right? So we are going to come back later here and then um, we are going to talk about uh, simple present questions, right? Uh, additionally, we'll practice, <clears throat> excuse me, a conversation about daily routines that illustrate this topic. So this is going to be covered today. Uh, so uh, last night we already started with the questions with the simple present using the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. But today we are going to reinforce that topic. And then we will finally go to the knowledge check um, in order to conclude uh, tomorrow, by tomorrow we are going to start uh, talking about lesson objective 111, uh, about scanning and sequencing after this reading and discussion. So we are going to talk about schedules. Uh, but this is going to be tomorrow, so I'm going to stop sharing. And I want you to see what I have for you today. Okay. I have here this presentation for you that talks about the uh, 50 most common irregular verbs. So as you know, we have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. I would like to show you my list of regular verbs that I'm going to share with you. Uh, let me see. Okay, go back here because I need to open my other file. Okay, I just want you to see the irregular verbs that I will share with you and the regular ones. So just wait for me a minute because this is not open. So let me show you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so I want to share this first. Okay, can you watch my list? Can you watch my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, basically, this is the easiest one, right? So those are regular verbs. I will share with you this list because there are many, many of them. 
But basically what you need to know is that we have regular verbs that are uh, conformed by the infinitive, for example, accept. And then you have the past that you have to add an ed, accepted. And then you have the past participle, which is the same. Later, I will teach you how to pronounce the past of the regular verbs because they have uh, some rules to be pronounced in the past tense. But by now, what I want you to know is that the regular verbs are called in that way because they have the same past tense and the same past participle. If you see here, it says accepted and then accepted, mm. and the meaning aceptar, right? So this is a big list, and if you see, the tendency is the same. You add ed, ed, right? The past is basically the same as the past participle, right? So we have a very big list because there are many, many of them, right? So um, uh, what I'm going to do is to share with you in the extra materials that you will receive. And what I recommend you is to uh, watch it, uh, practice, and then <clears throat> try to memorize because uh, necessarily uh, with verbs, we have to memorize all of them, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing this and I want you to see my irregular verbs list. And I would like to explain why I like this list. So let me see. Okay, I will go back here. Vamos a regresar ahí mientras abrimos la otra lista. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I will go. Okay, this is the irregular list that I will share with you. <clears throat> is if you see. They are completely different, right? They don't have a similar ending for the um, past and the past participle. That's why they are called irregular, because they are completely different. For example, we say break, quebrar, present, broke, eh, quebró, pasado, broken, quebrado, eh, past participle, right? So break, broke, broken. In this case, I like this list because they have found some similarities in the pronunciation. If you see this list, it says group one, right? And then it goes by groups, and then it comes group two. So why they are, they are classified in groups? Only because of similarities in pronunciation. For example, break, broke, broken. Speak, spoke, spoken. Choose, chose, chosen. Drive, drove, driving. Write, wrote, written, right? Write, wrote, written. So they sound like similar, right? Suenan como similar, ¿verdad? Pero no es que tengan que seguir una regla específica. But I like this list because it classifies according to similar sounds. Me gusta esta lista porque aunque son irregulares, la lista los clasifica en pronunciaciones parecidas. Listen group number two, ring, rang, rung, sing, sang, song. And then you have uh, the, this uh, picture that helps help us to understand what's the meaning of the verb, right? Swim, swam, so, swim. begin, began, begun. So let me, let me see what's happening. I'm going to silence you in order that we can listen each other. Okay, good. So uh, this is group two. So then we come to group number three. Pay, paid, paid, read, 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 right? Uh, but in this case, it sounds read, read, read. So it's uh, written in the same, but you, ha you have to say read in order to see that you're talking about the past tense of that verb. Lead, lead, lead. Bleed, bled, bled. Sell, sold, sold. Tell, told, told. So they have a similarity in the pronunciation. Group number four. Lend, lent, lent. Mean, meant, meant. Send, sent, sent. Spend, spent, spent. Okay? So group number five. Blow, blue, blown. Draw, drew, drone. Right? Fly, flew, flown. 
Okay, I'm going to advance because there are a lot of groups and I just want you and I just want to show you the list in order that later you can practice with it. Buy, boat, boat, bring, broad, broad, catch, couch, couch, fight, fault, I mean fight, fault, fault, think, thought, thought. There are some of them that are written the same, but not all of them. Okay, let's see number seven. Have, had, had. Sit, sat, sat. Stand, stood, stood. Understand, understood, understood. And so on. So we have, we are about to finish this and that's it. So I will share this list with you. But basically what I want to say <clears throat> is that you have to learn them by heart. It means that you need to memorize, to learn, to repeat, to write and to pronounce, uh, to do a pronunciation exercise with each verb in order that you can identify the simple, pre the present, the past and the past participle. So I'm going to stop sharing this because it takes a lot of time working with uh, regular and uh, irregular verbs. And <clears throat> I want to come to the presentation that I have for you. So uh, once we identify the that the irregular verbs are different in the base form, in the past simple or simple past, and in the participle, we uh, need to learn how to use them. For example, uh, I have here this uh, simple present with the verb have, do, and go. I have, I do, I go. You have, you do, you go. He, she, it has. He, she, it does. He, she, it goes. If you see here, we are applying the third person singular rule that we learned last night, right? And then plural, you, we, and they have, you, we, and they do, you, we, and they go, right? So this is the um, conjugation of all the subject pronouns with uh, some specific verbs in the simple present. All of them are irregular. <clears throat> Here, um, I have an exercise that says, rewrite the sentences in the simple present tense using the verb and adverbs in brackets. For example, she always gets up late. Get up late. He, to the park, go often. So you need to apply the rule. Uh, as, you, as you studied yesterday, we have a, a rule that we are S, E, S, and I, E, S when there is a third person. So in order, that in order that to remind us, I will send you this exercise and I would like that you can uh, practice by trying to answer. I would like to know if do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? We have seen regular and irregular verbs. Hemos visto la diferencia de los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares. Básicamente los tenemos que aprender de memoria, ¿verdad? There's no other way to learn them. And uh, what I want you to do is to complete uh, this exercise by uh, using the, the verbs and the adverbs in brackets, right? We already know uh, that an adverb is a word that modifies a verb. But in this case, for example, he, to the park. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la número dos? How do you think he it goes. is? He goes. He, he goes. He often, goes. ¿verdad? Often he goes often to the park. Goes to the park. Yes, okay. that's right. Okay, very good. So, let's try, let's try, and I will send you now to the breakout rooms in order that you can practice. Mm, but let's see. No, we can solve it here. Lo vamos a resolver aquí, porque tengo okay. otro ejercicio para mandarlo un poquito más largo para mandarlos a los breakout rooms. Sigámoslo acá. Okay, so number two you said that is he often often uh -huh. goes. often often goes to the park, right? To the park. Very good. Okay, that's easy. Okay, number three. How do you think it's number three? I I every month visit my aunt. 
Ok, o podemos hacerlo eh, al final, el every month, ¿verdad? Yo puedo okay. decir, I visit, I visit my aunt every month. I visit my aunt every month. Every month. Ok, very good. I visit my aunt every month. Ok, they. They never. Mm -hmm. they never help others. They never help others. Ok, they never help others. And because it's they, we don't have to mm -hmm. add any rule. Como okay. se trata de ello, ¿verdad? No tenemos sí. que utilizar la regla de la tercera persona singular. So, let me see. My dog. Ajá, uh -huh. by rarely strangers. My bite. Bite. Rarely stranger. Ajá, bite. Rarely strangers. Bite strangers. Yeah, rarely bite strangers. Mi perrito raramente muerde a los extraños, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. My teacher. Give a test. Once a week. One, ¿Qué tenemos one, que hacer one, ahí? Agregar la información. Ok. Gives. Gives. A gives, test. Gives, a test gives. Once. A once a week. Once a week. A week. Ok. Very good. Excellent. Ok. Number seven. How do you think it is? How do you think it is? She. Lazy. She. Pero ese B, ¿qué hago con ese B? Sería is. I have to conjugate, yes. right? With is, yes. She is, 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 is sometimes, sometimes lazy. lazy, right? Okay, very good. Uh, number seven, you. You are? You. Ajá, pero dice never. Entonces vamos a poner you el... Not, you you ne Ajá, you, you are, are never, are, are you are never, never on time. You, Nunca okay. llegas temprano, ¿verdad? Okay. You are never on time. Ok, very good. Ok, so, uh, let's see. Uh, what happened with number nine? What do you think it's the right answer? Eat in summer rain always. It is, it is, it, no, it always, it always, ponemos el, el adverb always. primero, rain, pero it como estamos, ajá, rains, rain. rains, porque rain. estamos rain. hablando de Toma. it, Toma. excellent, yes, third person, that's right, okay, let's see, let's see number, oops, 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 oops. sorry, uh, let's see number 10, Riders, winters, excuse me, winters, very winters cold. Are, oh. Riders are, are, are always very good. Uh -huh. Always. Are always, always. Very, very cold. Very, very cold. cold. Okay, winters very are cold. always very cold. Okay, that's right. Okay, number 11, he. he. Not fun often. Not fun often, me. Ajá, pero cuando es not fun, ¿qué, ¿qué le agrego ahí? El fun es el main verb, que sería, es como sería. telefonear o hablar. Cuando hago una negación, ¿qué, te, qué tengo que poner al verbo principal? Is. Is. No. It's don't. don't. Ajá, ajá. Don't. Por ahí alguien dijo doesn't. don't. Ajá, mm -hmm. doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Ajá. He doesn't phone me. Phone often. Me. He doesn't phone me often, right? Phone me often. He doesn't phone often. Often. Me. Often. Often. Let's see. He doesn't phone often to me. Vamos a agregar el to, ¿verdad? He doesn't phone often okay. to me. No me llama, ¿verdad? No me telefonea a menudo a mí. Ok, very good. Ok, number 12. Oops. You are not. You are not always. You are 
You aren't. You aren't. Let's see. You aren't. No, be always. Ajá, you are, you always, vamos a poner en este caso el always primero, you always, you always aren't, aren't, are not polite. Ok. Aren't. Oh, you are, you always aren't. Light. Oops, excuse me. Ok. Aren't. O podemos, incluso este always lo podemos mover al final, ¿verdad? You aren't polite mm -hmm. always. Always. Uh -huh. always. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. Entonces después acá, ¿verdad? Del punto. You aren't polite always. Ok, very good. Eh, pero lo vamos a dejar acá. You always aren't, para que se vea que está ahí. Ok, number 13. Eh, Jenny. Let's see, Jenny. See the doctor twice a month. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Um, es, es Jenny, ¿verdad? Entonces, es el verbo tercera, tercera es... Persona. Ajá. ¿Qué le agrego entonces? The letter S, right? Jenny sees the doctor. Jenny sees the doctor. Twice a month. Twice a month. Twice. Dos veces al mes, ¿verdad? Eso significa twice a, mo twice a month. Right? Uh -huh. Dos veces al mes. Jenny sees the doctor twice a month. Jenny eh, ve al doctor dos veces al mes. Al mes. Ok. Let's see. The boys. The boys. The boys. Play football every yes. weekend. Every weekend. Queda, queda básicamente así, ¿verdad? Como está, porque no le agregamos la S porque uh -huh. es they, ¿verdad? The boys. Uh -huh. Entonces, the, the boys boy play football. Play football every weekend. Every weekend. And that's it. Se queda prácticamente casi uh -huh. como estaba, ¿verdad? Big, Victoria, number 15. That's Doesn't, Victoria doesn't, doesn't, does, 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 never. Victoria does. Veamos, como dice never, entonces no vamos a utilizar el doesn't porque se sentiría como una doble negación. Entonces decimos Victoria never, do a das. Do a das. Ajá. Y vea, das, que, y das, vea que aquí das. este das no va como auxiliar, sino que va como verbo no, principal no. hacer. Do mm. das. Victoria mm. never does her work in time. Victoria nunca hace su trabajo eh, a tiempo. En, en tiempo, ¿verdad? O a tiempo. Never does. Ok. Very good. Excellent. So, you remember very well, or, uh, perfectly, when to use the simple uh, present tense, third person singular roots. Okay, now, uh, here we ha it says, interview a classmate and answer the questions about him or her. Use the correct verb ending endings in your answer. For example, where does she or he live? ¿Verdad? Ahí la pregunta está bien formulada, ¿verdad? Está correcta. Cuando yo respondo, mm -hmm. ¿cómo debería responder? Suponemos que estoy hablando de una amiga. Entonces yo digo, she, she, lives, she, she lives, lives in she lives. Santa mm -hmm. Ana. She lives in Santa Ana, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? So, since I'm talking about he or she, I have to use The simple, the simple uh, present third person singular rule. So that's what you have, you need to be careful here. Identifying who are, are we talking about, which is the main verb and how to convert it in um, by adding these uh, endings in the right um, spelling for the third person singular by adding S, E, S, I, E, S. Okay, so I'm going to send you this. Okay, vamos a enviarles este. Esa es la primera parte del ejercicio. Okay, I will explain the, the next one. Okay, the first part is uh, to complete uh, the answers by adding S 
ES or IES, according to the, the verb we are using, right? Okay, the second part of the exercise is that you have to answer. It says, answer the questions about the things you usually do. Use the simple present or the present simple in your answers. For example, what time do you get up on weekends, right? ¿A qué horas te levantas los fines de semana? So maybe you can say, teacher, eh, on weekends I get up a little bit late because I want to rest. And you can say, eh, on weekends I usually get up at 7 o'clock or at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's okay. Eh, where do you eat lunch, right? Eh, where do you go shopping? What books or magazines do you read? What TV programs do you watch? Why do you study English? How do you relax in the evenings? So I'm going to send you this and I would like that you can also answer this question. So we are going to have three minutes for the first part and uh, four minutes uh, to the second part, right? So we are going to have like seven, eight minutes at all. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? Okay, again, the first part is about the third person singular rule. And uh, the second one is about your uh, daily activities, right? Your routine. Okay, so if you don't have questions, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms now. And I would like that you can work together. So let me see. We are going to have eight groups of three people each. So please join. When you receive the invitation, please join to the groups. Hello, Denis. Do you need Hola, help? Teacher. Hola. Hola, yo estoy. Vaya, Denis, lo voy a mover porque al parecer no ha entrado su compañero o compañera, oiga. Listo. Sí, <risa> lo voy a mover en un momentito. Solo déjeme salir del, del grupo. No hay problema. Hello, my dear Ellie and Vladimir. Do you have a problem joining the groups? Do you need help?
Hello, hello, Jessica. Can you hear me? Hola, hola, Jessica. Me hello. Estar, hello, you're working alone. There's nobody else in the group. So I'm going to move you to, to another group. La voy a mover a otro grupo porque veo que está solita. Bueno, gracias. Okay, see you. Hi, teacher. Hola. No lo escucho. Hello, Vladimir. Do you come back from the group? ¿Se regresó del grupo? ¿Se desconectó? No, me sacó. <ríe> no sé Vamos qué pasó, pero me salió, se me salió de la sesión. <ríe> Vaya, eh, voy a mandarlo al grupo 6. Vamos a ver si me permite. Fíjense que... Ok, veamos si le llegó una invitación. Sí, ahorita. Vaya. Hello. Is everything okay Hi. here? Todo bien por acá? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes. Perfect. I like it. See you in a minute, okay? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Hola. Hello, Denise. Can you hear me? Hola, hola. ¿Me puede escuchar, Denise? Hello. Hello, Denise. Hello, hello. Oh, también podría ser, I eat lunch in my office. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Bueno, yo en una semana. Oh, por eso se estaba preguntando, me estaba... Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hello, is everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por acá? Sí, sí. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, advancing. Advancing, yeah. right? Okay, excellent. See you in a, in a couple of minutes, right? Perfect. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You, 